hi guys hope you are doing well and you are watching hyper rtc channel and in this video i'm going to show you that how you can connect your domain with the hosting and uh, this video is very important and you have to watch completely and check each and every step carefully because if you miss any step or skip video definitely you will create a mess so you have to check you have to watch complete video very carefully and you have to check each and every step very carefully so the scenario is very simple that we have a domain we have recently purchased the domain over the godaddy and we have to connect that domain to our hosting and the hosting is available onto the rap host if you have domain onto the godaddy or at any platform or if you have a hosting at hostinger or at any platform the process will be the same so it's not a big deal so let's start and uh, now in order to connect it first of all we have to go into the c panel then we have to type domain domains then we have to add a domain we have to type a domain we have to go on to the code id domains and uh, we have recently purchased this, this domain and now we now we need to connect with the hosting so that we can create a website and email addresses so where is the domain pggrecruitment.com so this one is the domain we have recently purchased pggrecruitment.com you have to copy uh, go on to the c panel you have to paste it now, now you have to add the domain successfully added the domain name to the package so domain has been successfully added pgg recruitment so the, now the public html is a single folder so you can see that we have connected multiple domains and we have created a sub path over there because if we save all the domains in a single folder like public html and if we not bifurcate so it will create a mess so i'm going to what i'm going to do that uh, i'm going to copy it copy uh, slash paste and now you can see that now we have a separate path means this website files will not interact with the other files or it will not create a mess inside the single folder because we have distributed it so now we need to update it successfully update it So you can see that now the path is public html pg recruitment dot uh, pg recruitment so now you have successfully added the domain now we have to connect this domain to the hosting we have already created the domain but it is not connected with the host uh, with the domain right now because we have connected the domain now we have to verify it so we can verify it through the name servers so in this regard we have to we have to go on to the dns dns then we have to click on to the this is newly purchased domain and once we replace the name servers this entirely dns records will shift it onto the cpanel so on one platform means hosting or cpanel we can manage emails website dns record each and everything through the single platform which means domain will be on godaddy but all the functions dns each and everything will transfer to our hosting so that we can manage entire domain or their technical records through the single platform so now we have to click on to the name servers once we click on to the name servers you can see that here we have godaddy name servers so we we have to replace this with the rap host name servers so now we have to go on to the cpanel 
we have to now we have to click on to the client area in your case in your case maybe if you are using hostinger or godaddy hosting so in your case name servers will be inside the cpanel name servers will be inside the cpanel and it is somewhere it will it will be here in your case but rap host is little different because uh, they offer a co separate console for the uh, along with the cpanel so their structure is a little different so they always give c record on their main console panel but in your case it will be in c panel so no need to worry about that but if you are using the rav host it will be on it will be on uh, uh, main client area so we have to click on to the client area you can see that we have to copy this and we have to go on to the rav host now we have to click on to the change servers we have now we will select we will use our own name servers now we will add four more line two more lines because we have four name servers so we have to click one by one paste and then we have to go on to the on to the godaddy on to the sorry on to the rab host and then copy then paste then copy then paste one more time then copy then paste now we have to save it so it will give you uh, a warning that uh, that you are going to change your name server so so it is risky or you will not have any control so ignore it no problem because it will give you every time whenever you will change your name servers it will give you error if you are changing the name servers with the uh, hostinger anyone else you will give you will get the same error so no need to worry about that just ignore it and continue it once you continue it your request is in progress so your request is in progress sometime it takes one hour or sometime it takes 30 minutes so so i'm going to stop this video and uh, we will check after 30 minutes so welcome back and uh, now we need to check the domain and uh, if it is connected or not so we have replaced the name servers and now we have to click onto the main page of godaddy or you can simply reload the page now we will go on to the domains now we have to click on to the respected domain pggrecruitment.com and uh, now we have to click on to the dns So once you click onto the DNS, you can see that we can't display your DNS information because your name servers are not managed by us. It means your domain has been connected with your hosting successfully. So now we will go on to the RAB host. The work is finished at GoDaddy. Now we have to go on to the RAB host and uh, we have to click on to the uh, you can click on to the DNS DNS manage DNS you can see that uh, it is showing me please select a domain when I'm clicking on to the manage DNS when I'm going when I'm clicked when I clicked on to the manage DNS it is showing me the list and you can see that in the list we have pg pggrecruitment.com so now we are i'm going to click it
so you can see that domain has been connected with hosting successfully and you can also verify through through dns checker click on to the control panel you will get one hosting but obviously i have multiple hosting that that is the reason i always get the list so let me click on this once you enter into the c panel on the right hand side you will have a ip you can see that it is 185.151.30.189.189 so this one is the ip so we have to click on to the uh, google just open the new tab and type dns checker once you type the GNS checker, you will have a first link and then you have to click on that and then type type your domain pggrootment.com and see. You can see that your DNS has been successfully propagated, means your GoDaddy domain has been successfully connected with your hosting now you can create emails you can deploy a website you can do each and everything whatever you want thank you so much for watching this video hope you like this video forward to your family and friends and uh, subscribe our channel we need a we need subscriber and uh, thank you so much see you in the next video very soon